Hi friends, it's Deanna Williston from Our Blooming Catholic Life. Yes, it's still Friday when I filmed this, but I got a package in the mail, so let's open it together. It is from the Little Portion Bakery and Troubadour for the Lord. You know who that is, John Michael Talbot, as well as, is it the Brothers and Sisters of Charity? Have I gotten that right? One of our other Third Order St. Francis groups. Now they live both a monastic life and a domestic life which is really interesting. So some of them actually do live in a monastery together, but some of them live in their homes and they may get together for regional gatherings as well. What did I get? I got several things. Shh, don't tell my husband. I did get a number of things. Um, so we're going to look at them quickly, or if this gets too long, I'll break it into a bunch. The first one is Desert Dangers and Delights. The stories teachings and sources. So this is on the Desert Mothers and Fathers. This is the book that we're starting with. If you've joined the Inner Room School of Spirituality with John Michael Talbot, if you've joined that, this is the first book we're going to study. It is on the Desert Fathers and Mothers. Let's see here. And I think he wrote this just this year. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Oh, no, it says... Says 2010. Oh, no, that's the scripture text. And there's actually a lot of information on this index page. It is a 2020 book. Yay, something good that came out of 2020. <laughs> so let's see quick. You know, one of the things I like to do is see who's reviewed it. The first one is by Knocker Wolf. I apologize if I don't know how to say that. OSB, the Abbot Primate Emeritus. It says this book provides orientation for searching people in a time of disorientation. Wow. Okay. Mike Aquilina. Uh, yes, you've heard of him. I can't think of who he's with. He's with a big organization too. Every generation seems to discover the Desert Fathers as something new, surprising, strange, and radical. Opening heaven's door, we never find what we have expected. This book will be the desert's doorway for a new generation. There's also one from Tom Booth, composer, retreat leader, and spiritual director. There's even more, like how did he have time to get all these reviews? There's one from pa Father Peter Farrington, a priest of the Coptic Orthodox Church in the UK. From Jim Papa Andrea, the professor of church history and, and historical theology at Garrett Evangelical Theological Center. Bleh. Seminary, Michael Card, a faith-based musician and author, and Dwayne W.H. Arnold, Ph.D., the author of The Early Episcopal Career of Athanasius of Alexandria. Oh, my goodness. So many good reviews. And from a wide variety of sources. That was pretty wide-ranging. It is printed by Liturgical Press in Collegeville, Minnesota. Now, I did get this at Troubadour for the Lord. I think it's .org. It could be .com. I'll try and remember to put it in the comments below. You know me. Um, oh, actually, let's see if it's on here. Mm -hmm. It does not say. Because the helpline is, is a very specific person. I will try and find that for you. Um, let's see here. If you order directly from John Michael Talbot, of course, he's going to get a little bit more of the money from the book. And that's going to support the monastery during these tough COVID times. That's why I'm mentioning it. Let's see. Contents. It's pretty pretty clear there, right? So there are, there's all of them. No, there are actually 31 chapters as well as an introduction and a conclusion. So it's introduction, flee the world, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, the monk within, the cell, work, private prayer, liturgical prayer, sacred reading and the writings of the fathers and scriptures, sacred silence, sacred solitude. You're getting a hint here, right? He doesn't just go with those beautiful things because then it has thoughts and demons come in. Angels, watchfulness, spiritual direction, and the revelation of thoughts. And then there are eight dangers. So one of the things I will tell you because I'm in that inner room, School of Spirituality, just in the introduction, he has warned us that people really didn't go to the desert for time alone to commune with God necessarily, they went there to face their demons. The wilderness is where the ancients thought that the demons lived, right? And that kind of makes sense. Um, and so they might have gone there to confront and exercise their demons within so that they could commune with God, right? Get rid of all those obstacles. It's very interesting. 
The desert is delightful. The, it is also dangerous. It is delightful when used well, but it can kill if entered into wrongly. The difference is in discernment. Right there, that, that speaks to the introduction he gave us in the class. The difference is discernment. Okay, so let's see how the rest of the book is set up. It's about a six-page introduction, maybe? Yeah, six-page introduction. And it does end with reflection questions. So if you are doing a, a book club of some sort, this could be a book for you. Um, it's the first chapter starts out with a little tiny quote. Uh, if you want to be saved, flee the world. The Lord to Abba are... Arsenius. And then he starts out, I thought that I had fled the secular world long ago. I left a promising secular music career in favor of Jesus. And it goes on more and more. That's all I'm going to tell you. I don't want to give you the book. So when he goes in, he is going to give you some of the teachings of the Desert Fathers and Mothers, and he's going to give you his journey that relates to whatever that topic is. And just like the book we were just doing, the, the St. Francis of Assisi Sermon on the Mount, the admonitions, this book is going to give you a little bit of the teaching, the history of the Desert Fathers and Mothers. It's going to give you some of John Michael Talbot's journey, but that's to open you up. And then the reflection questions are going to be to really get in depth into you and how this affects you in your journey. And I, I know he's, he said he was going to do that format for this book, also in the introduction, he warns us that the book would have been way too chunky if he included everything he wanted from the Desert Fathers and Mothers. So he is going to reference them, and you are free to get those sources if you want to dive into that one deeper. Now, in the inner school spirituality, we're just going to do one chapter a week. If you're diving into those readings, you may want to spread that out even more. Um, if you're doing it in a Bible study or a group or book club, you may want to get those extra readings and do them as well. Uh, so some of them only have a few questions. This chapter two has like six. So again, it's going to be a little quote. It's going to be a little teaching. It's going to be a reflection on his life. And it's going to be something for you to dive into. This one has eight questions. Again, the it has footnotes. Hooray for footnotes. You know what? I'm really diving into a source. I really want to see those notes right there. I don't want extensive footnotes right there, but I do want to see those little references right there. So hooray for him. Now this chapter here only has five. I mean, they're numbered five, but some of them, some of them are decently long questions. And, and sometimes that short question is going to be one that's going to be deep and it's really going to get to you. So he talks about them, uh, scripture, monastic tradition, again, what the desert is. There are lots of little, the subheadings are pretty easy to see. You can see new chapters are easy to see. There's not tons of artwork because we're talking about the desert. I think he probably went with very minimal artwork, but it's very clear to see the divisions within the chapter and it's still laid out and pretty. Oh, you can really see, see, you can see how he's dividing it up. Footnotes at the bottom, easy peasy to see. It's an easy, uh, size print for me and yeah I did find I am finding it really interesting that he really doesn't have the artwork because he's really drawing you into that simplicity great I am very excited to dive into this like I said I am in the class but I did the introduction and have not gotten to read the introduction yet because I just got it so I'm very excited yeah I'm going to break this up into a couple of uh couple of book reviews so if you see me wearing the same outfit every Monday don't be shocked because I'm real I'm not gonna run in the house and, and fake change clothes every time I do one of these it's silly uh, I feel it's kind of weird and dishonest if it bothers you I'm wearing the same outfit for weeks in a row yeah whatever I'm doing a hundred day dress, dress challenge anyway I'm wearing the same dress every day <laughs> I'm on day nine of wearing this dress so whatever <laughs> I am working on that sacred simplicity God bless you, friends. Have a blessed day. If you like this video at all or you want to know more about this book, like, share, and subscribe. And put any comments below, good or bad. I'm here to hear them. I'll give them a fair shot. God bless you, friends.